Happy Saturday, everyone. I am back for another full day of eating. So let me just jump right into everything and update you with the weigh-ins. Um, as I discussed on my last weigh-in, since things are not really progressing and moving, um, I was thinking about just doing full day of eating and not doing the weigh-in. So you can still tell me what you think about that. I can do the weigh-ins if you still want to see it, but things are not budging and my life my life is just a little bit stressful right now and I, was, I think until I can get some of that under control, um, things are not going to move. So I'm still working on that. It's a work in progress. Um, to answer some questions, um, someone said something about, well, maybe I should do a cheat day, cheat meal. Um, my experience and my personal experience as a person that was a binge eater and still have binge tendencies, that's not a good idea for me. Um, yes, sometimes I may eat things I shouldn't, but to schedule it, I don't think would work very well for me. Um, for one thing, a cheat day of eating whatever you want for me turns into a week, a couple of weeks, a month, and it takes me forever to get back on track. Um, a cheat meal, I haven't really played with that a whole lot in a very, very long time. Um, I think the last time I tried doing one, it was okay, but I had cravings. So if the whole premise behind this way of eating is to get rid of your cravings, stabilize your blood sugar, um, and all of that, um, I don't want anything that's going to interfere and make me crave more than I already do. So, um, I'm I'm kind of thinking those are kind of off the table for me. But if you have any other suggestions or ideas, um, just put them in the comment section, and I am very open to it. So, I do have my coffee. I'm going to drink on that. And I have leftovers. Um, I still have some salmon. I still have a hamburger patty. So I want to get rid of everything in the fridge and maybe um, do some batch cooking maybe today or tomorrow. So when I eat my first meal, I will be back to show you what it is. And alrighty. Yay for coffee on Saturday. I needed it. Okay, I am back, but before I show you my first meal, here's my, I don't know if you can see this, my um, blood sugar, not too bad. So I am going to have, it looks really weird, but this um, hamburger patty, and I made some bread, I want to say last week, and I froze some of it. Um, and this is what can be my first meal of the day. And these are giant patties from um, Costco. I'm also going to sip on this. This is not a buy. I just um, blended up some green, leafy greens to put in here to drink. And that's what I'm going to have for now. Um, I'm not quite sure what the plan is, but I know I have to get out and run some errands. And I will take you guys along with me. So I'm going to eat and we'll see what happens next. Hi everyone, it is actually Sunday morning and I'm completing my diary from Saturday or adding on to it. Um, let me just update you on what happened Saturday. I was supposed to run some errands and it's supposed to be really simple. So it started out pretty good. I went to an Asian grocery store to pick up some vegetables and chicken and all of that to um, do my cooking. I was, and the plan was from there to run a few errands, do a little side road trip, and I come home and I prepare my meal. So one of the errands had to do with um, going back to Verizon Wireless to take back some um, battery packs that we had bought the week before that did not work and they were 
I want to say $50 plus a piece, and we had to buy two of them, so it was like a hundred and some dollars, and they just didn't work. And we purchased them while we were on our way to do a little boat excursion. If you remember from last week, I did a little, last weekend I did a boat excursion, and we got them on our way there in a little town called Anacortes. So on yesterday, while we were at the mall in Alderwood, um, there was a Verizon. We thought we would just go there and see if we could get them replaced or turn them in or some kind of credit because they didn't work. So they informed us because we got it, <clears throat> excuse me, in Anacortes, and that particular dealership is not part of the chain of Verizon. We had to go back there. Now, in short, I was in Linwood. To go back to Anacortes was like almost an hour drive. So we're like, okay, maybe that could be part of our little drive and adventure. Fine. We drive back to Anacortes um, midday on a Saturday. The traffic was pretty okay. Um, so we get there to that little dealership, the Verizon place, and they tell us, we can't take it back, those little battery packs back, because, oh, you don't have the original packaging. And we were like, what? Because when they were sold to us, the lady said, if it does not work, just bring it back. We'll exchange it, we'll fix it, whatever. And that did not happen. So to say we were pissed off after driving that far is an understatement. We tried to collect ourselves and say, okay, let's not let that ruin our day. We go on a nice little drive on Highway 20. And for those of you that are not familiar with it in the state of Washington, Highway 20 goes along the Cascades and it's really beautiful. And at some point it is closed because of all the snow. They haven't finished clearing it and it will not, all of it will not be open until I think about eight weeks or more. So we said, okay, let's just drive that 20 and to see how far we can get and look at the scenery. And that was a lot of fun. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get out the car and take pictures. It was raining and it was cold, but it was very beautiful. I loved it. Um, so on the way back, we said, okay, to cut off some time because 20 is very long and to do that big loop going through Anacortes all the way and looping back it was a long drive. Why don't we just cut it off a little bit and take highway, I want to say, um, 530 which is a beautiful drive too but it takes off a large chunk of time and I would have got home and start the cooking process so it was very late then and we started that process of driving it it was a beautiful drive then we started seeing signs of road close ahead and we're like that's weird maybe it'll be a detour or maybe it's not all the way closed so we get there to the very end and it's dark it's late um, and the road is completely closed and again I'm gonna say to Washington for those that don't know all the way to uh, some point on 530 is where about I want to say it was maybe three or four years ago there was a big slide in Oso that killed a, I, I want to say it killed about a hundred people so they were afraid from all the rain and everything we had that there was gonna be another big slide so they blocked off the road completely there was a policeman there just sitting in his car, I guess, for people that were driving up there to let them know what the situation was. So, we turn all the way back around and drive that big stretch of 530 to get to Highway 20, which I'm going to say might have been like a 45 minute drive or more. Two and a half hours. So, in short, um... Because of that little detour and having to go back, um, it was over two and a half hours. We got home about a little after midnight, and no, I was not in the mood to film, to cook, to do anything, just to get in bed and relax. So, this morning, today is Sunday now, and I've had my coffee, and I'm going to actually do my cooking, and I'm going to show you what I'm preparing. It should last for a couple of days. I'm excited. And... Um, I'm going to get to chopping some vegetables, and I will be right back.
Okay, I just have a pot here going with a little bit of butter, probably about like two tablespoons of butter and some bacon fat. I'm going to get ready and saute up my um, cabbage and we will be going from there. Okay, while my cabbage is cooking down nicely, I made up some spices to season it with. And this is some Mediterranean spice, Creole seasoning, um, pepper, turmeric, cinnamon, um, a dash of sea salt. Um, what else did I put in here? Oh, a little bit of garlic powder. So I'm going to use this to season my um, cabbage. And also, to give it a nice thickness, almost like a soup consistency, really nice and hearty. I've already um, put in my little um, bullet some chicken I took out of my freezer that was frozen. Some power greens, um, a little bit of chicken stock, and blended it up and made it nice and thick. So once the cabbage cooked down a little bit more, I'm going to season it and add this to it, and we'll see what we'll be working with. I'll be right back. I am back with my final product. This is what it looks like. All done. Again, just a lot of vegetables, cabbage, um, probably about a half a pound to a pound of chicken, which part of that I showed you I ground it up in my magic bullet with some power greens and some seasonings to make a nice thick broth for this. It's delicious. I've tasted it already. And as always, I want to thank you for following me on my journey. Um, and please don't forget to like and subscribe and share and comment and let me know what is your favorite um, one pot meals things you can fix to you know that can spread over a few days where you're not having to cook all the time um, let me know down below I will be back again on Tuesday and I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of the day bye bye